Hey guys, so uh, real quick, I have this Max Ace Babylon, and what happened is, or what has happened is, it has a little bit of detent lash, so essentially, I could probably show you, I guess, if you take the thumb studs and put them on, well, I guess first what I want to show you is, the thumb studs are the stop pin on close. So that stop pin is for open, and then for close, it's the thumb studs. If I let this go, it's gonna slam all the way down into the scale. I don't know if you can see it perfectly. You can see that blade is on the backspacer, essentially. See it better on this angle. Like it's touching the backspacer down there. So the thumb studs act as the blade stop. But the problem with that is that they seem to not be fitted 100% perfectly. And I have checked with people who own this knife as well. And um, Peter from Therapeutic Edge, uh, our buddy Vince who owns one. And see here now, that's your blade stop. See, now it's sitting off the scale a little bit, or off the backspacer. And what happens is, it has a little bit of detent lash because of the placement of that. Look at that, it's gone. So what I was thinking was, maybe just removing them, replacing them, or perhaps I was going to replace them with the ones that it came, came with an extra set of hardware and try that. I was thinking maybe one of these cutouts was just on the wrong location and that's why it was creating that that stick so hang on let me yeah it is it is gone so i just need to figure out a way to get those tight because i don't think it's fully tightened right now so i'm gonna get some loctite to tighten them i think uh very lightly and then we'll see if that works so that's my plan and if i can get it to stay in that spot i will be very very happy Because that's really my only gripe with this knife at this point. Otherwise, I'm loving it, essentially. She's like, I love my wife and appreciate her so much. She's in the room right now. She was telling me last night that I always say how much I love and appreciate you guys. <laughs> and I never say it to her, so. There you go. I'm just kidding. I think it. Just need to say it more, apparently. I am an asshole. All right, here we go. Try that. Just a little bit there in the threads. I don't want to lock it up too bad because what if, you know, um, I don't know. I just have a fear that I'll get them stuck or something. What if this doesn't work and then I can't get them off? But I should be able to test it before uh, uber tightening it. And I honestly have the wrong tool for this. So what seems weird is how it's not even, right, on both sides there. I don't know if I need to center it and then tighten it, how that works exactly. I maybe just need to go towards the edge a little more so that they engage earlier. Would that help that? I don't know if it would be the other way around. I was trying to figure that out earlier. All right, we're getting them tighter though, that's for sure. All right, that's pretty much as far as I'm getting hand tight wise. Yeah, now it's back. Not as bad, but it's still there. I don't know what would be causing that. Still there. It's just like a balance of finding a good spot. Essentially, if I Loctite them, they should be fine as long as I don't try to undo them, right? I 
max less, but it's still there. I had it to where it wasn't there, right? Let me try tightening it and see if that helps. Problem I had was, see right there, I just stripped it a little bit inside. This doesn't quite fit. I bought these thinking they would fit. And I'm using that cloth to kind of help me out a little bit. But I will not care about that if I can get rid of this. Damn it, it's back. So let's just try this. I'm going to need to two-fold it so it stays in position. Is that the one I jacked up? Yeah, okay. So what I'm going to try is just replacing them. It might just be I had them loose enough that they were falling down to the bottom. Now there it is again. Now it's worse. So it's just a weird positioning thing, honestly. But can't hurt to swap them, right? It's a very weird problem, isn't it? In the box, you get, or in the case, I should say, comes with a whole set of hardware, including thumb studs and a button, and which I think is awesome that it comes with all this. I do wish they maybe went with a different color, but it doesn't make sense if you think about it, because uh, the backspacer is blue, the accents are blue. So. I said that in the unboxing, and then I was like, wait, that's kind of dumb, isn't it? Let's see, maybe these are just a better fit. And last time I put the threaded part through, what was that, that was weird. What is that? Um, That side, so let's try doing it this way. So wait, let me try this instead. Push that one in. There we go, oh right, thread locker. Probably just gonna have to stick with whatever happens here because I don't really have any other good ideas. I just really want it to work, <laughs> essentially. Please. Yes. I mean, it is extremely light now. It's still there, but like way less room. I don't even know if I want to tighten them more. Do they look, I mean, it looks fully tightened down. That Loctite should hold it. I just have a bad feeling if I rotate it. So I think what's happening is the part that's impacting the scale, right? First is right there, the little corner. And if it gets into one of those divots, then I'm guessing it doesn't lock up as well. I don't know. I feel like. If I tighten it, it's going to turn this way. And then you would just have more of that flat part, which should be fine. What about this side? Yeah, you'd think it would be fine. I don't want to make it worse, but I'm an idiot, so I'm going to, probably. Yeah, it turned a little bit. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, it's back. What is that? So it depends on how often, like how it lands. Now, now it's back again. What the hell? So I think it's like right there. It's not touching at the right spot.
Now it's gone again. All right, it is gone at this point. So in order to not cause issues with it, <laughs> I am going to leave it. I'm going to let that Loctite dry for at least a day. And hopefully that'll keep those studs in the exact same same position. And it'll just be good to go. Um, I don't want to do a full tear down at this point just because I just did that. And it's in very pristine, like perfectly centered, great action no need to really add anything kind of situation right now. Um, you can see there's like black stuff up there at the top of the plate. And that's kind of what happens with these uh, button locks, I've noticed. Like my Sumo did the same thing. You're just flipping them so much as bearings are getting so much work that they just have like black gunk in there. Uh, so I may just have to blow it out at some point. But yeah, it is gone right now. So there's just not that little bit of lash. I mean, if anything, it's very tiny. You can see the tip probably isn't moving at all. Just fantastic. Um, so if this holds up, and I'll go over that, I guess, in my full review, or I may mention it in other videos, but um, I'm going to be a very happy man because that was my main issue with this knife. The clip is a little bit annoying um, because it has a divot under it cut into the scale. I don't know if you can see it there and thicker pants it doesn't like but i haven't really had a big issue with it so keep expecting it to come back because it happened before um but yeah so that's it guys that is uh i guess so far how you can get rid of the detent lash on the max ace babylon i find it weird that they didn't figure this out from factory and do something i mean i've had three people now consistently like confirm with me they also have the issue um so I, i'm not quite sure if it was me swapping these or if it was just turning them to the right angle and you know it kind of sucks because you need this bit that like i didn't even know existed before this it's called a triangle bit it's like a safety bit um this is the size three but as you could tell that was not big enough but i couldn't really find a bigger size online uh, but you guys may know way more than I do. I just used a cloth and kind of doubled up to add a little room in there, and it seemed to work. I wouldn't go hard. Uh, it broke pretty easy for me uh, because I think if you go hard, you're going to end up scratching like I did on the other set, uh, which is why it's good to have two, I guess. And then I would do kind of what I did. If you don't want to use Loctite, you don't have to. It might hold. Uh, I'm not going to trust that, or maybe use purple Loctite, whatever you're comfortable with, and just keep adjusting till you get it to the right. So basically, what you want is, you see the cutouts on the thumb studs? You want them to be on either side of where it contacts first. Because what I'm seeing is it contacts right there first. Comes down and hits right there. See that? Right there. And if one of these divots is there, or partially there, it has more room to wiggle, right? Um, so you got to kind of get it on both sides like that. Like this one, you can see it's just barely, let me see, it's just barely getting, I don't know why my lighting is so shit right now. Um, it's like just barely hitting that flat part right there. But it's enough, you know, and I, I'm afraid to turn that, to turn this one more and just feel like, I don't know if I'd be making things better or worse at this point. And I really don't want to turn the other one too much and have it, but the fact that I have it Loctiting, it might be good to just get it where I want it. Oh, that turned real easy. Hang on. Did it? Yeah, it looks like it turned just a smidge in there, and this one stayed where it was. So let's see. Just trying to see if my theory's right, then I, I can kind of know what's wrong and fix it easier. Yeah, I don't think I moved it at all, to be honest.
I think it's more the cloth moving in there than it is me moving the the head. Yeah, it's even maybe a little better now. There's no rattle, so that's all I care about is even a tiny rattle would be better, but it was like you would lay it down and it would rattle because that it would bounce off and then you sit there and shake it and it would just rattle on you and it was really annoying. So anyway, sorry, keep talking about it. But yeah, triangle bit size three. If there is a, a bigger size, I would get it because look, I'll show you what it looks like in there without the cloth. I mean, there's a good amount of space. You know, it catches a little bit, but it's just going to turn and scrape your shit if you don't put something between it. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Max Ace Babylon Detent Lash Erased for now. <laughs> okay, I'll do an update. But, uh, yeah, love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you later.